My name is Ella. I am 29 years old, and I live in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Give me the crystal. I know you have it. Ha! Ha! Can block you at every turn. Hey! Hey! Ha! Ya! I've been into cosplay for a long time, you know, getting all dressed up, and I am super into everything Asian culture. And I am here to reap your soul. Oh, God! It's another one! It's another Devin! <laughs> You know, they're good looking men. You know what it is though? I got this big old conspiracy theory that the peeps at the TLC headquarters, yeah, them, ain't really fucking with your boy like that. <laughs> like they ain't cool like you guys. Like half you guys don't even really watch this ish. Like why pay when you just watch me for free? <laughs> you know, just common sensory stuff. And the boys at TLC, well, whole squad full of fucking killers, I'm a killer too. Pop, 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 tree wing. <laughs> They ain't really fucking with that. <laughs> Cause they money hungry bastard. So they start setting up these episodes like like indirect personal texts <laughs> to you know, trying to give me all my game, trying to mess with my head, trying to exterminate your boy. But jokes on them, <laughs> cause I'm mentally strong. You might as well call me Sosuke Aizen, cause I'm about to destroy so reaping Allah. I am here to reap your soul. Bunkai. I'm in a whole different pedigree. Y'all really wanna get ahead of me, so guess who you can't get ahead of me. I never crack, but you know that it's crack when I spit that in front of me. I'm never taking you serious. You my inferior, stronger than me, that's hilarious. That got them furious. Pull up and try me and I'll put it into your line like a period. Come here, baby girl. My ideal man, it would probably be an exact blueprint of my favorite anime crush. Go get it. He has red hair, green eyes, and a fox demon inside him. Oh my god. <laughs> but in real life, of course he's got to be Asian. I love everything about them. So I found a social media page called Asian Men, White Women. And that is where I found my Asian prince. Hey, baby. I miss your lot. Uh, love you. OK, pause. <laughs> That's enough. A boy can only handle so much, right? Like the cringe the scene ratio in this scene was just outrageous. <laughs> now apparently Miss Ella was on the AMWF subcategory search. <laughs> if you know you know. Brazzers. <laughs> Who said what? <laughs> uh lay down all them thirsty as trap cards. And old doggone Johnny happened to walk right in on him. <laughs> and look, I don't even really even know how I'm supposed to be feeling about this scene. Cause on one end, it does kind of sort of sounds like she's uh, fetishizing Asians. I love everything about them. That's weird. But on the other end, like, I ain't even really even worried about it. <laughs> know what I mean? Cause let's be real, Asian men, we don't get representation like that. <laughs> Come on. Nothing. If that were a non-Asian man, he gets to kiss the girl. Do they really see Asian men as weak, effeminate, and not attractive? And Aaliyah was so bad, bro. She was so bad. I would have paid that man. I would have paid Jelly to do it. <laughs> For the goji. <laughs> I don't want your money. Oh my goodness. This place is off the hook. Like this old TikTok BTS anime movement, that's all new new. That new new. Ten years ago, we were that side dude nobody gave a dookie about on, on Twilight. And that's Taylor Lautner. This air we're calling. Who the fuck is that guy? Like I don't even remember dude's name lately. Like, who is this guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Like that's how damn bad we were. Tremendous. Tremendous. And now look at us. This could be us. Even the clearance rack, Johnny Punani getting some love, my G. <laughs> Johnny is from China. He is 34 years old. He has an amazing smile. His eyes are just perfect. When I first started talking to Johnny, I was like, oh my God, I just hit the jackpot. I love when he talks about when we're gonna have kids. Like this one says, wanna buy a big house ready for kids. I love getting stuff like this. How much are you looking forward to Johnny coming? I am so excited. I really want it. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't even know why she crying, really. That wasn't even a hard question. How much are you looking forward to Johnny coming? Unless, unless he meant the other coming. I really want it. <laughs> Never mind. And look, I'm not even trying to be mean, but sis, 
Shawnee is a jagged. Just another guy. Like, this ain't a Big 8 or Soulja Boy Kim Tae Young issue. Like, to be honest, like, for real, for real, I don't even know why you had to look that far and wide. Searching far and wide. Beow, 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 beow. <laughs> for a... Who's that Pokemon? Johnny Punani. Like, this is a hundred Johnnies right here, right now. <laughs> like, maybe not in Idaho, Idaho. Where they at, though? But there's a hundred Johnnies right now slinging in San Francisco, Seattle. And don't get me wrong, like, I'm not trying to say Mr. Johnny Punani ain't one of one special holographic limited edition ghost rarity in the Pierce form looking so. Hmm, doesn't look all that special to me. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is his whole personality to, to her, it's like an AA meeting. Being Asian and giving attention. Like, if you got those two, that's a wrap. I really want it. Prime, prime example. Her dream man is Kurama from Yu Yu Hakusho. Red hair, green eyes, and a fox demon. But somehow she ended up with Johnny Punani from Baby, that's a no no. <laughs> like, the woman is sick. Sick in the head. Banana fever, literally. And if you need more proof, justification to believe me, uh, say less. In just over a month, my incredible boyfriend Johnny will be flying over from China to meet me for the very first time. And what better way to make that happen than by manifesting it with witchcraft. Oh my God. Now I cast a sacred circle from east to west and north to south, guided by spirit to manifest. I've been Wiccan for like a year. I like witchcraft because it kind of helps you make your own destiny. Yeah, I'm sure it does, miss. I've been Wiccan for about a year. All I hear is Wiccan this, Wiccan that. Uh, this is why I got Wiccan trust issues. <laughs> like one day we could be on a dinner date, steak and lobster, and next day I got a rabbit's foot and five different crystal breeds under my bed talking about manifesting a Birkin bag. <laughs> what? Who the hell came up with this buffoonery? Like, this ain't Vampire Diaries. Like, Damon Salvatore ain't coming to save Johnny Bravo when you and the Coven decided to stab him with a Harry Potter wand. <laughs> like, at one point, the Coven head Ancho Keisha, you know, started speaking gibberish. Just mad gibberish. L like, it was a scientific proven fact. Well, I brought you some stuff today to help you with, like, a love spell. What the hell? Just fill it with some purified water, put it in the window seal. There you go. So my clear quartz, obsidian to help keep out negativity. Make sure you take it out before the sun hits it. It'll change its properties. <laughs> what? Keisha, baby. You ever taken like a step back and considered, what the hell am I talking about? And look, I have no problem with people who enjoy the aesthetically pleasing look of crystals, like the boho, hippie, witchy, indie vibes. Personally, I enjoy the look. Like, it's my go-to aesthetic. But some of y'all just be taking it too far. Like when you and the coven are doing ring around the rosy, making moon water instead of tamales. <laughs> and it's not even for like young Leo DiCaprio or, or the young Casanova, Tasha Holland. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> like we're doing all of this for, for what? For who? My name is Johnny. I'm uh, 34 years old, and uh, I'm from Jinan City, China. Hi, Ella. Your Asian prince Johnny is here. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm the alien from the outer space from Mars. What the hell? I hope I become a redneck cowboy, like Yeeha. <laughs> I'm so confused. People are weird. First and foremost, slow your roll, space cowboy. Let's try to get this story straight. Like a yee So here's the situation. So the boy Johnny bought this suit solely to get to the US, hoping to catch nothing else but Punani. But in order to get to the US though, man's got a couple obstacles. First, the man got a son he financially supports. Like a on top of that, he financially support the parents who does the caretaking while he's at work. So I help my parents have money. Now at work, he has to quit his job just to travel to the US. I'm working in a electrical car manufacturer, but I need to quit my job. But before all of that, he has to quarantine in Singapore for like two weeks, traveling protocols. But I'm still waiting for the Singapore travel visa so I can quarantine in there for two weeks. And if for any reason he catches C-19 during his whole travel experience and goes down? All that stream of income floating to his son and parents like a river. <laughs> it's Houdini. Abracadabra. So safe to say, man's a little concerned. I'm uh, really so nervous about that. But the question is, does Ella really care? <laughs> you better find out. We need to talk. 
Yes, yes, I think so. When you do talk about the, the tree. I don't think it is bad enough that you should choose to not come. We always need to choose to think like the worst case scenario. Why right? don't you just see this through? Oh my God. People are traveling to other countries and they have been fine. Like, why is there still a discussion? It's two weeks away. If I get sick, then I cannot provide to my family. Can you stop being hesitant and just come over here now? Like, I mean, seriously, you're driving me nuts. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. In short, she don't give a flying fudge. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna keep it short and simple for you, Johnny Plunani. How to be me choosing between being with my son and providing for my parents or going to see Ella, the Soul Reaper, and risking everything? <laughs> Had it be me choosing between family or Ella, <laughs> you can call me Dom Toretto. I got family. But hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping stuff. One rapper, two rapper, three rapper, four. All these bodies in my closet, I know that most of my favorite rappers wasn't spitting like me at that age of 19. Make a motherfucker think that my idols, my rivals, and I never lose. So my idols get slotted, they're thrown in the trenches. I snipe from a distance like boom, pow. I reload and I empty the clip on a pussy motherfucker with a lick in his bio like single day Mayo. Your this wig is from Naruto, and that is Johnny's favorite anime. The character that I'm dressing up today is actually a male character, and he has this thing called sexy ninjutsu. It's his ninja power that he uses, and he turns into a sexy naked woman with these clouds around her private parts. 